because uh, after my wife died, they cut off, I could not get her Social Security benefits, and they cut out about half of mine because I was considered no longer married since she had passed away. And that just made it really hard to make all ends meet. I could pay the bills and get food, or else I could not get food and pay the bills and get my medicine, or else I could not pay the bills and get food and medicine. And I've had my uh, utilities cut off for a few weeks at a time, several times because of this. It just put a hardship on me, and uh, I just didn't like that, and I wanted something to be done. When I heard they were doing something, it was just great for me. I was retired and widowed, so I had plenty of time just to sit in my house and stare at the walls or come here and do something about it, so that's what I did then. Now I can get over here, you know, and I work, you know, I was one of the ten that shut down Bank of America the first day. We, oh, wow. We protested outside of there, and uh, they locked all the doors and wouldn't let customers in, and then all the corporate executives left the building in, in armored uh, luxury limousines two hours early. Wow. Closed the bank, and just ten of us did that. So things like this, marching and chanting. I want you to come out here. Did you think that... Uh well, what inspired you? You tell me. Well, knowing that uh, no matter which of the two parties one might vote for, they're sponsored by the same corporations. Uh, Nashville is also uh, one of the incubation places for Dr. King's um, civil rights tactics. Um, Nashville was one of the first places, the first place that there were sit-ins at lunch counters and that the nonviolent struggle was introduced to the world and here you, and you, you, in, you, in the United States. You see a parallel to what you're doing here, to the struggle yeah, from back yeah. then. Well, I, I see the interaction uh, with our, our police in our group compared to um, dozens of other cities around the country. Um, the, you know, we knew the police were coming. And we prepared ourselves to be arrested. Um, you know, it's Martin Luther King, I believe, said something to the effect of, uh, if you're not willing to be arrested for your principles, then maybe you have no principles at all. And um, we decided to, to present ourselves for arrest and avoid all the hassle of, of, of truncheons and tear gas and mace. Um, you know, just go ahead and present ourselves. They don't have enough jail cells for all of us. CCA, you don't have enough. The things that have been used to divide us um, are, are manufactured to divide us, to help increase profits for companies that sell weapons and companies that uh, profit off of sickness and profit off of incarceration and, and, and profit off of not getting the food to hungry people. Okay. okay? Um, we're all much more aware of the things that these corporations have been doing and the the lack of morality that they have.